And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming your way next. Okay, all set to go. Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Steve Leading Rogers. The, the shortstop, Steve Rogers. The wind of the pitch. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Batting second, the center fielder, number 20. Bottom of the first, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Harrison Bader. Liga for the Giants. Singy, you got to appreciate the a guy who's this fielder. good defensively. Harrison. I mean, watching him track balls in the Bader. outfield, it is beautiful. Swing and a slow roller. Rogers gloves it. The throw to first, just got him on that one. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Wilson. So the Nats lineup turns over. Here's the shortstop at the play, Steve Rogers. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That one back there. Right on the warning track. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough. Yeah. One out, base is empty. Jordan Luplo, the next giant to hit. Batting nine. The right fielder. Luplo. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So now back to the top of the order. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Even with the pitch on the outside part of the plate, he still pulled that one into the outfield. And the defense was ready for it with the shift, but no one could come up with it. Grounder might be two. To second, there's one. Back to first for two, and that'll do it. Three innings complete. It's the Nationals one and the Giants nothing. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Now batting second baseman, Wilmer Flores. Three and two now. Roll to short, possible two ball. Quickly to second for one. And it's a double play to end the inning. We played four, all tied 1-1. One, one. And now it's going to be Steve Rogers. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Roger. Hey, get a good one. And yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. To tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in hey, command. Get a, good one. get a good piece on it, huh? Let's go. To first, maybe a two ball. Throws to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. So the batting order turns over. Digging in. Steve Rogers. So you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Hey, get your pitch. Stay through it. Let's go. Drive it. Hey, nice and patient. Get your pitch. That one ripped left field. That ball's carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. So one left. Come on, sit on something Steve right here. Rogers digging in for the Nationals. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. That one drilled left field. Pretty well struck. 
One runs in, and it hits the base of the wall. The throw is wild, and it gets away. In to score from first, and it's a one-run game. Hey, great at that. Nice hit. And that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way easier than it is, Boo. Setting the record is hard at all, but to keep up in it every day like he is, I don't really know what to say anymore. At this point, it honestly feels like it's never going to end. Absolutely remarkable. Evan Marshall takes over on the mound, and he'll work on holding this lead. Number 43. Evan Marshall. Now the number two hitter, Colton Kowser, trying to deliver as the hero. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, pretty clear to me. He's trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Just one strike away. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Hey, drive him in. Don't look better right now. So the tying run at second. And now the count is even. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, hey, not distracting right your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. You go, I need you right here. And a 3-2. Yeah, Line drive, that's a base hit. Coming home. He'll score and they've tied it. It's 4-4. Four four. Not in time. He's safe. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Well, with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. Close one here today, and your final 